Good morning. Hopefully most of you know who I am, but I'm Jeremy Gilmore. I've lived in Boreham now and Elstree for, since 1984, so we're coming up to 30, 37 years. Uh, my involvement in Hot Cellar has been ongoing now for close on 20 years. My story starts with me, unfortunately, in from March 2001 to November 2001, not sleeping one night as the pains I was getting in my arms, legs and neck were excruciating. I'd been to the NHS and the NHS could not see me till May 2002. Everything is mere shemaim and a, a shkokas process came around that my, I work in Stamford Hill for the Englanders and one of Miss uh, Reb Eli, uh, Elish Englanders uh, cousins, uh, sorry nephews, is a guy called Reb Chaim Eli Kernkraut. So I'm sitting in his office in Linthorne Road and uh, he says to me halfway through the conversation, Jeremy, what's wrong with you? I said, Reb Chaim, it does, you don't need to worry about it. Really, you don't. Let's just carry on. He said, no, Jeremy, you don't know who I am. I said, of course I do. You're Reb Chaim and you're You're my boss's nephew. He said, I'm more than that. I'm the founder of Hat Solar in the UK. And there's not one consultant in the country I do not know. I'm phoning my uncle now and you're not working for the rest of the day. You're going to tell me your story and I will get someone to sort you out. So I told him my story that I hadn't slept since, uh, for, since March till November, that I was in severe pain, so much so that one, one shove us, my wife had to call out an ambulance and inject Voltarol retard into my, into my spine, otherwise I'd have literally jumped out the window with so much pain. So this was on a Tuesday. On the Thursday, I get a phone call from Reb Chaim saying, I've seen a consultant at the Royal Humana, at the Royal Humana Wellington in uh, St. John's Wood, and he wants to see you on Shabbos. So I can't see him on Shabbos. I'm Shema Shabbat. How am I gonna get from Boreham Wood to St. John's Wood? He said, don't worry. Again, Baruch Hashem, I know people. I will get someone to take you in. They took me in on Shabbos, went to shul with them, finished shul, went back to them, had supper with them, 8.30, went to the hospital, ran upstairs, well, walked upstairs, and uh, saw the consultant, he said, I'm sorry, Jeremy, I've looked at your scans that you did, because uh, I had an MRI scan done personally myself, and he said, if you don't have an operation within by Tuesday, which I've booked in, you'll be in a wheelchair within a month. So I get back to my, uh, to my uh, apartment I was staying in, and my friend Barry Stechel, who's a Lubavitcher in Stanford Hill, wasn't very well a few years before, and I'd given him Chizuk, and he'd given me an art school to healing book. I read it full page, every page, for the, that whole night. I got back home, Motse Shabbos, I sat with my wife and explained what was going to happen. We were both very emotional about it. I put on Sky Discovery Health and may Hashem be my witness. The exact operation I was going to have was on TV at that moment in time. I told my Rav, Rab, uh, Rabbi Tukentaft, he couldn't believe it. He told his Rav, Rabbi Nussan Svig Svinkel, Salik Lavrocha, and they closed their, their, all the classes at Mia for the seven and a half hours of my operation. Baruch Hashem, I am now physically fit from that and I have had no things. Without Hatzola, without Reb Chaim Eli Kernkraut, I would not be sitting here now and telling you this story. I never thought at any time when I was involved with 
Reb Chaim, that I would ever be given the chance to be able to do what I'm doing now. I've now trained up to be a dispatcher for Hatzola in Hertfordshire, and this is something this community is going to treasure in the years to come as a wonderful gift that this that, that, that Hatzola has given to them to be able to have the ability to be able to have ambulances on on a 30 a, a, on a daily basis to be able to answer any any uh, uh, emergencies that's going is something special i've seen them and witnessed it what it's like in in, in uh, stanford hill and for us to be able to do it here it's going to be something very special my involvement in trying to get in this has even has got even uh, stronger because unfortunately last april i contracted covid so much so that i was in a coma for 42 days and again with hashem's help with my friends in israel my friends in england all sands heading for me I have been able to get back to my full strength unfortunately the reason why I'm doing this video is my brother my blessed brother died of COVID at the same time as I was in hospital and he was a sadic he put himself out he was involved in Zakar in Israel, raising funds for that. There's no Zakar in England, really. And I thought the best thing we could possibly do in the Sukhus and the memory of him is to be able to get some fast response vehicles to hit for him because he used to live in Radlett. And the moment, Hatzola, Hertfordshire, is only at the moment able to be able to, uh, to look after Boreham Wood and Elstree, this can't happen. The community is big, it's massive, and we need everyone in Hertfordshire to be able to benefit at the, by the way of just phoning up someone to be able to get immediate help, whether it's uh, a small incident or something much larger. But I have been blessed in so many ways to be able to give back, and this is one of the ways I'm doing it. I, I, I asked you from the heart, from the bottom of your heart, if it's if you know me as a person, give it, give to Hatsola because of your, of uh, uh, the love that you have for me, and if you don't know me, do it for Hatsola for the love of your own family, because this is a benefit that is going to multiply tenfold and everyone is going to benefit from it.